What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. In today's test drive, what about a 1974 Chevy Impala? 400 under the hood. Looks like uh, AC compressors there, power steering right up under that. Power brakes on the firewall there. And of course, I'm gonna be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. We got about 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping available for you. And I do this every day, so hit subscribe, share this video. All I need you to do now is uh, sit back and relax because it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. I just need you to place those bets on the horn. Do you think it works? Be trying in here in just a moment. Looking around the dash, it's in good shape. Got a little spot there. Most of it looks pretty good. The seat and the carpet in this one looks good. Nice and clean. I love the seats in this. The design is beautiful. Looks good. Got my bag here. You can look below in the description and see all the stuff that I use to make the video. Coming around the back seat and your panels. They're nice and clean along your package tray decent shape headliner in this one looks good as well it's not too bad light in this one's in good shape as well let's go ahead and start her up showing 45,000 miles on the dash there we need gas, so we're gonna stop up at the gas station and put about $30 worth of premium fuel in this ride. Wipers, work. Uh, AC, let's try it. So the compressor is engaging. With it blowing hard though, I don't feel or see anything. Let's come off of high here. Put it on low. It does seem like the blower motor itself is out. I'm not getting anything from that, but the compressor was kicking on. Same Radio, people find it. radio's working good. Tilt column here, turn signals on the dash. I don't see it popping up anywhere. The bulb may be out. Right side is working, but that left side over there is not blinking, so the bulb must be out. Okay, other than that, we're gonna go down the road, but what do you think about the horn? Does it work? Mm -hmm. Nice and sensitive, works good. Let's take off. Okay, get buckled up and we'll roll out of here. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Let's hit the road. We'll go ahead and try reverse, which we're in. That's pretty good. And of course, this is the first time I'm actually driving this. I do this in real time with you on the video. I feel like it makes a better video. I'm just kind of learning about the car with you. Um, they keep me busy up here, so I'm not able to look at them in advance. We do go through quite a few rides. We're, we're getting close to uh, pretty much 60 a month on a steady basis. But I don't get all of them videoed. <laughs> all right, here we go. A little bit of a stutter when we took off there. A little bit of, you know, getting into the throttle. Got a little hesitation there, but she's pulling good. Uh, talking straight as an arrow, this thing's not pulling left or right, just dead on. The speedometer is working as well. The steering's nice and tight. Getting down into that throttle. Pulls pretty good. Kick down, so up, getting into the brakes now. And they're nice and smooth. I'm not having any shakes from the steering wheel. Nothing like that. Still a little bit of a hesitation when you get back into the throttle. Let's try that again. Yeah, it's just a stutter and then it takes the gas. And that may work itself out. A lot of times that's due to ethanol drying up in your carburetor and causing this little green gunk gets down in there. And when you run fresh gas through it, sometimes it cleans it out. And you don't have to do much, you just dry it. From what I can tell, this thing's floating like a boat, nice and smooth on suspension, straight as an arrow, nice tight steering, brakes feel good. Other than a little hesitation, which will, like I said, work itself out. 
So far, so good. I did see some cosmetic stuff on the paint job. Um, interior's pretty close to the uh, way it should be. It's nice and clean in here. But at the end of the video, we're going to be picking out the flaws. And that's where we're walking around, showing you any kind of rust. So stick around to that. After this, after we get gas, we're going to get some undercarriage shots. I'll be right back. Okay, $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride here. The gas cap on this one works pretty good. You just push in, and it's locking. Okay, so got about five gallons here. Door opens nice and smooth on this one. That's what it was when we got here. Turn the key. Starts up good. The gas gauge is on its way up. Is it going to make it to half a tank? I think it might. Slowly creeping up. Gas gauge is working though, so let's take off here. Here in the parking lot, we're going to be picking out the flaws now. Let's walk around this ride. Anything I see, you'll know about. I'm going to look for rust, chips, scratches, dents, whatever. Detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. And let's get started. Just coming around the front end here. The front bumper is not perfect. Seeing a little scratch here on top. Got a little bit of pitting also on top here.
put over your fender. You got a ding right here and here. Bottom of the door looks pretty good. Got a little spot here on the back or a chip. Got some chips in the very back here. Your trim down the sides missing the chrome on it. I guess it was blacked out at one point. A little hazy here on the paint. The paint has got a lot of weak spots. You see some scratches. chips under that trim there little chips there a little haziness here up top dent top of the fender chips right here around the nose also one right here a little hazy on top, more chips. Some right there. A thin spot up on top here. Cracks in the paint up top here, chips running across the back. Cracks in the paint across the back. Tops pulling right there in the middle. Trim actually looks nice and clean. Along with that back window, nice and clean. I don't see any chips or scratches. Looking along the back here, thin on the paint. Chips in the corner there. up over the back of the roof. You got some bubbles up under that vinyl top. In the back, you got some bubbles back here, up the top of the window. The vinyl top itself, it feels kind of chalky. Up over your front windshield, Looking real close to see if I see any scratches or chips, and I don't. Trim looks good all the way around. Okay, let's go ahead and check out that trunk. Coming up on the back, the chrome bumper on this one looks good. Does have light hitting. A little hazy on your tail lights there. Weather stripping around the trunk jam is a little cracked up. Chips here. trunk lid itself pretty good shape down in your trunk here pretty decent spare tire the flooring in it looks awesome it's not rusted or got any holes in it it looks pretty good carpet's older there but that could be better package tray on this one's got some surface rust ok 
Okay. Coming on down with the lid here. So, need to shut it harder. I'm gonna slam it now. Gotta slam it. You can see in the middle there. Weak on paint, missing some paint in the middle. Up here, you got a little bit of rust trying to come through some spots. Chips around your edge there. Chips around this edge here. Spots. Spots in the back. Sticker needs to come off there, doesn't it? Spot in the back corner here. Overspray on the back. Coming down this side, lower portion. Chips in the corner here. A little hazy there. Chip in the corner. ding right there around your trim paint missing up here behind the front fender front bumper there back your midsection got some chips up top little specs chips in the corner of the door there trim looks like it's flaked spot running up the back here too chips thin on the paint back here Little wavy on the top in the corner here. Back window looks good. Trim looks good. A bit of cracks going on there below this trim. Chips on the edge of the door there. Window looks good. Seal looks good around the window. Chrome looks good on the mirror. Top of that fender is a little blotchy. It's got some little spots. Some here too. Running down the top of the fender there. Little spots here. Little spots there. And over the front windshield i don't see any chips or scratches on this and the trim looks great little bubbles under the vinyl top here in the front bezels on this one a little bit hazy chip here Just chips there a little hazy on top here chips in the front on the nose there 
top. Corner. Okay, we've made it around this ride. Let's go ahead and open up, check out the inside, get her started, listen to the motor, and then we'll conclude the video. The door panel on this one's not bad, but you can see some wear right here around the handle. Weather stripping is in decent shape. It's got some cracks up top here, but down the side looks okay. And your jam. A weak there in the corner, the back sill on the window. Looks good. Carpet in this one, not too bad. The seat on this one looks great. There is a slight bit of wear here in the corner. Package tray, not too bad. Headliner, pretty clean. Starts up awesome. The gas gauge made it up to half the tank. Looking up under the hood here. It's in pretty good shape. The edges here look good. Coming on down with it. Got to shake it back and forth because the springs are tight. If you just yank down on this one, you're probably going to end up bending the hood. Right now it's nice and straight too. The middle of the hood here has got the same kind of issues, little chips all over it, popping up thin spots, little hazy spots all over it. Little dents here, scuff. Guys, I walked around this ride with you, pointed out any kind of flaws that I can find. This was a big car look at it this was like a 16 minute walk around <laughs> all right guys 
detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Financing, shipping is all at the same website. And every Monday, I'm going to put new rides out for you. With your help, I can keep doing that. Hit subscribe, like this video, and hit share. I got to get back to the lot, and I'm going to grab another ride. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you later.